has arrived and oh my god that is heavy but I'm looking forward to it kind of like transforming this space and just brightening up which you got dark wooden floors just really brightening up this space so let's put it together <laughs> Talk under moonlight till dawn. Mm -hmm. We could stay to watch the sunrise. I think it's pretty level. I mean, we don't uh, we don't do serious leveling out around here. It's just to the light. So it would look something like that. It looks nice with these two though. Ah, oh, that's really nice. I'm so glad we went with the brown. Looks really good. This is a little bit of our New York apartment update. So as most of you are aware, my girlfriend has moved back to New York City. Now, the goal for us is to be living here together next year at some point. So the apartment that we actually decided would that would be smart for us to get was a studio apartment, mainly because one, we really don't need that much space at the moment because obviously we're not living together. And two, it really keeps costs down, which the money that we save, we can kind of like put to like the apartment that we'll ideally get when I actually move here. Fingers crossed that all goes through. Now obviously the key when decorating a smaller apartment in my opinion is being very smart with the pieces that you're purchasing, whether that's for the aesthetic or also function like storage, etc. So the rug that we got is actually from Nordic Knots, which is the same brand as my one in London, which I absolutely love. So. That was kind of like first on my list. I was like, let's get a really nice rug because it is going to be kind of like the centerpiece of the whole apartment. The name of the rug that we got is called The Park and it's in the dusty white color and it's kind of just got this nice texture throughout it, which I really, really like. And also I'm going to be super biased because the wall's from New Zealand. So obviously, you know, it's going to be top notch. Now the mirror, ideally we actually wanted, you know, the like the one that everybody has from Ikea. I've had it before, it's kind of the big one. I can't remember what it's called but it's a big wide one. That's what we wanted, but it wouldn't actually fit there. So we went with this one instead. I will put it up on screen what it's called. And now that we have it, I'm so happy we did because I love how this wood just ties in with the art piece and kind of like the wooden floors and also the kitchen, which you will see at some point. So very happy with that. We just need to actually hang it, which we will get to. Now the final piece that might kind of like shock a few of you, and it was kind of my decision really to get it like wouldn't you say like i was the one who's like pointed out the pink one to you yeah i was surprised yeah so the thing is is a lot of the apartment is cohesive regarding the colors like we are sticking to kind of earth tones so i just wanted one piece that was a pop and just added a little bit of fun into the apartment and it is going to play a bit into some of the other art that we are going to be putting up or i'm just really a big fan of the barbie movie but who knows Thank you. 
So these are all the shoes, samples, prototypes, things that will drop, things that will not, and um, let me show you guys uh, maybe one of them. So this shoe right here is called the Stelvio Derby, and uh, the reason why we call it Stelvio is that Stelvio, I can't really say his last name, he's Italian. I just fell in love with his music. He does, um, he's like in the jazz genre. And I would say like his genre of music, it's more so like the romantic, cinematic type of music. I love his music so much, I wanted to kind of give him his credit. So I call these the Stelvio Derbies because I don't know, when I look at them, it just makes me feel like it feels like Italy. Yeah. And it feels versus like something like this that looks like very... I guess brooding and aggressive. But yeah, no, I'm so happy you're here, bro. So happy you're here. No, it looks so nice, bro. It's Thank been so you. nice to see it. Thank you so much. Look at that wall. I know. Like, I feel like a lot of people are like asking if we still make clothes. And I have this thing where I'm like, yeah, it's coming, it's coming. But the priority for the past year and a half has been just like uniquely shoes. And um, hey, can I, show, can I show one? Yeah, bro, go for okay. it. Do what you want. So we have these trousers. I'm super excited about them. This is for winter 23, so it's coming out in a couple of weeks. We're entering this space in the brand where we are doing a little bit more menswear, but still with kind of like that edge. So I feel like this. Those would look so nice with. With the babies. Yeah. Right here, boom. Look at that. Yeah. Invisible person, though, like. Come on. That's so nice, bro. Yes. Like you can go to church, you can go to the club, you can go to the bar. Look at this Colbrax. Pew. Pew. Oh, wow. Do that again? Boom. So. That's really yeah. good, bro. Thank you. Love it. We have a lot more, but this is the one I'm only going to show. Thank you guys for being a part of the visit. And uh, see you soon, Daniel. See you soon, bro. Dinner. Dinner and all that. Dinner and wine. Dinner and wine. Let's disappear. Without goodbye And say we've gone mad And lost our mind So who cares Cause it's true Madly in love with you So let's float away Toward the moon and the stars And let them all talk About how hopeless we are Oh, who cares? So I'm on my way now to meet up with Dion for a coffee And I thought I'd kind of just break down my fit a little bit So for the leg where I've got the bare knuckle trousers Now, these do come quite long So I did get them tailored and taken up a little bit and they are obviously on that wider side they look let me put boots on actually the boots that i'm going for are these ones which are kind of like the cowboy uh boots kind of from our uh, legacy which i love i picked these ones up on depop i think i paid like 200 pounds for them they've been worn like twice and they retail for like 500 so i think that's a pretty good steal and i think they just look sick with these trousers especially because they are they have that like square toe to them also i'm still trying to figure out filming when i'm here it's currently three degrees here so we are gonna layer up now on top 
I have the first DS sample of the waffle knit long sleeve. There are a few little changes I want to make to it, but overall, I like it. It's not super long and it's just nice. It's a nice kind of just like underlayer, and I do love the texture of it. I actually think I'm going to tuck it in a little bit. Also, the belt, if you saw that, that is also from uh, Legacy. It's the nice thin one. Pull out slightly just so it's not so stiff. And then because, like I said, it's three degrees outside, New York has gotten cold. Obviously, we bring out the big boy, the Acne Studio Sherpa leather jacket. Again, this one's from the women's section. Cozy as hell. And that is today's fall, fall outfit. Cold, fall day. It's almost like a winter outfit. But yeah, let's go see Dion. The guy looking for the perfect lover The kind of love you're only seeing in another I wasn't waiting for sunshine and unicorn I've nothing at her own and then you don't bother All of a sudden you're the hero of my story I celebrate the love and all this to me glory I still remember this whole thing started I was walking down the city Feeling down and broken hearted but Then I guess Or a sleep to roam A fool found collision On my way home I cut a corner Down we hit and crash The crash has been the first And hasn't been the last Cause it's a different kind of love From any other 